So I'm bringing you guys an awesome strategy here that works very well and is good for day or swing trading. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Let me show you how to use this awesome strategy to get better trades. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Another trading video for you guys. I got so much love on the previous trading video and some DMs requesting more tactics and more strategies to make money while day trading. So I'm bringing you guys an awesome strategy here that works very well and is good for day or swing trading. Let me show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But first, be sure to check out the store right there on the screen. Acrylics with a one, acrylics one and only dot com. When I'm not playing games, I am trading all day, every day. I want to show you guys another trick that I do to get involved in trades that are a little bit more profitable. I showed you guys another video. I'm going to put it right there in the top of the screen, how to use the Super Trend EMA to make some pretty awesome day trades. Before we get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know to support the channel. Be sure to check the information box below for links to Weeble, how you guys can get your free stocks and it supports the channel. So please use my links in the information box below. That's all I ask in return for giving you guys this awesome information on how to set up your trades for better profits and less risk so this strategy is very simple and it works very effectively and let's get right to it let me show you guys how to set the strategy up first we're looking at a basic chart here amr here this is a stock that i traded with this strategy and it worked out very well looking at amr on the five minute chart with an rsi and some volume you may be asking yourself how do i know when to get into a trade that's the hard part you see a green candle here and another green so you go ahead and buy in you see a red so you immediately sell or you hold and then you sell over here it's really hard to tell and you can't really guess this kind of stuff you've got to go off of past data to help illustrate where it's going in the future and that's where this trend is going to help you guys out so let me show you how to use this awesome strategy to get better trades. There's a specific indicator that LW uses and that works very well, and it's the Donchin channels. We're gonna go to indicators. We're gonna look for Donchin channels right here. Add it to your favorites, click it add it you can see it almost looks similar to bollinger bands but it's completely different so we're going to go up here to the donchin channels we're going to adjust the settings go to inputs change the length to 96 this is going to work flawlessly with the five minute time frame go over to style now that we've got the donchin channels here we've got to make an adjustment to make this work with the five minute channel a little bit better and we're going to do that right now we're going to go up here to settings we're going to change the input to 96 which works with the five minute time frame we're going to go to visibility as you guys can see the whole area is blue and the lines are a darker blue makes it harder to see so we're going to go ahead and change the top and bottom to red so now that we've done this, we've got red top and bottom. So how do you enter on this trade? I'm gonna show you guys exactly how you do that. You're gonna wait for a bullish green candle to break into the top of the Donchin channels. And you can see that right here, it's broken in to that channel. You can see it's breaking through the red. Anytime the bullish candle breaks across or into this top red line above this orange line, it's bullish and you would enter the trade. However, there are a few things that need to be explained. By itself, the Donchin channels is a very powerful indicator however there's a couple of tips and a couple of other indicators we're going to add to make this strategy flawless the first tip is you never want to enter a trade when you're consolidating left to right like this the donchin channels do not work very well with consolidation just like this there's two indicators we can add to prevent something like this because like i said even though the donchin channels work very well and it's a very powerful indicator on its own it's not without its caveats and this is one of them we need some reassurance not just one signal not just two but three signals to to enter on a buy making it more strict but yet less risky let me show you guys the next two indicators you need to add to this strategy in order to make it more bulletproof and eliminate as much of the risk as possible first thing we're going to do is go up here to indicators we're going to add larry williams large trade index lwti we're going to click on that and we're going to add it you'll see it'll come down here in the bottom we're going to scroll down here a little bit just move it so this way it's not too big and then we're going to go to the settings right here click on that we're going to set the period to 25 and the smoothing to 20 and we're going to leave it just like it is and click OK. Next, we get to add one more indicator to make sure that we are getting the best signal possible. It's going to be a simple volume indicator. Right here at the simple volume indicator, make sure you favorite that, add it to your chart. Looks just like this. We're going to go into volume settings right here and we're going to change the MA length to 30 and then we're going to go over here to style. We're going to click 
to check volume MA and make this white and make the line a little bit thicker. Once we do that, we're going to click OK. And now you're going to see all three indicators on the screen right now. It's going to give us a much better signal of when to enter the trade. Remember how I said before that we're only going to enter a trade when a bullish green candle breaks the top of the Donchin channels. We are only going to do that when there is bullish green momentum above this white line on the volume index and our LWTI indicator is green. So let's see how this would play out. We're waiting to enter a trade at the perfect moment. And right here we can see the bullish candle breaks across the top of the Donchin channels. We can see that we're green here on the LWTI, but we're right at the line. But as we come over here to the second and third bullish candle, we are above this white line and we're green and we're green on the LWTI and we're breaking across the Donchin channels. We enter the trade and you guys can see it's moving right across and up just like we expected. And right here is where we would exit the trade. So the price is $240 right here. And down here when we entered, it was around 235. This would be about 75 to 100% in options. Let's show you guys another example of exactly what I'm talking about. So here is looking at the full trade that I did today with AMR. I entered down here at $235 and I exited up here at $244, which is a $10 gain. And in the options world, this is a 300% gain. I made like 280% on this trade. And you see how much profit can be made with the Donchin channels and these two indicators. Let's look at another example here. We're looking at Carvana. We're sitting here waiting for an entry position. And you guys can see right here, Carvana breaks the Donchin channels here on a green bullish candle. We look down here at the volume indicator. We are green bullish candles above the white moving average line. And down here, the LWTI index is green. So we go ahead and we enter this trade right now. And let's see how it plays out. So you guys can see here the profit that would be made. We entered right down here and we entered in at a price of 48.48 and we exited at a price up here of 52.57. This right here is a massive gain. With options, this is well into two or 300%. You're doubling and tripling your money. And you can see there's three ways to make sure that we're getting in the trade correctly. The key here is green candle, touching the Donchin channels and breaking through multiple bullish candles over the moving average white line and green load index on the bottom. We enter, some consolidation does happen, but then it moves its way up. You could have waited for this entry right here, another green candle above the moving average, green on the index and green breaking the Donchin channels. This right here would have been a good 50 to 100% gain, but if we enter down here, it's double or triple. As you guys can see, it is a pretty massive gain. If you're wondering how to enter a trade on the short side, let me show how that works. You do not enter a short position until the bearish red candle peaks the bottom line of the Donchin channels and pushes it down. Let me show you guys. We're sitting here waiting for a short position as we're seeing a lot of selling going on. We don't jump in just yet. Right now, you can see that the bearish candles have pushed down the Donchin channels. We see two red bearish candles have broken above the moving average white line and the green line has now turned red. Now it is time to enter the short position. Now that we confirm, we've got two red bearish bearish candles pushing down in the Donchin channels. We've got two red bearish candles above the white line and the volume moving average and the green line is now turning red. This is the time to enter the short position. We go ahead and do that and we see exactly what happens here. The price plummets and then we exit immediately after seeing this resisted candle. So the reason I exit this position, as you guys can see, anytime you've got long bearish candles working your way down and then you have three red doji candles in a row getting smaller and smaller, followed by a green candle, you exit the trade. You can see here, there's a lot of gains. The price was $105.07. And down here, we exit the trade somewhere around here on the third doji, and we're at $102.10. This $3 is good for about 50 to 75% or more. Almost double your money on an options trade, depending on which strike price you pick for your puts. But this is very high profit right here. So here with NVIDIA, we can see that we've got some consolidation going on, but we got mostly green bullish momentum in the indicator 
index as well as volume, and we're above the moving average in the dungeon channels. We're just waiting for a clear signal on all three when to enter the long position, and we can see right about here. We can see we've got two bullish candles here breaking into the dungeon channels up top. We got two bullish candles way above the moving average, and we're green on the load index. So we go ahead and we enter this trade. Let's see how it plays out. You guys can see great profits here. We would enter right around $470.90 and we would cash out right here at $487.20. This is a $16 jump right here. This is a lot of profit if you were buying call options at an in the money strike price or even an out of the money strike price. This is a crazy jump right here. This is a three and a half percent stock price move, which is a lot when you're buying options. Okay, so now we're here looking at Meta. We we can see that the index is red, the volume is red, and we're also red and below the average in the Donchin channel. So now we're just kind of waiting for a signal to go bearish and enter a short position. And we can see that we're waiting right now. It's kind of consolidating left to right. We got to see an indication in all three signals, which we're about to see right here. It just all of a sudden plummets. And you can see that this candle right here, this bearish red candle pushes right through the Donchin channels on the bottom. We have a bunch of red bearish candles breaking above the volume average and and this red index has stayed mostly red and barely entered any green. We're going to wait about a minute or two longer for this to turn completely red. As you guys can see, it's doing so right now. We enter the trade on this big candle right here. And let's go ahead and see how that played out. So you guys can see all the profit here. We entered up here on this candle right here and right here. So we were at $307.67 and we ended up down here at $291 a $15 drop. It's over $15 drop right there. And what we would do is, even though there was some consolidation here, it was moving steadily downwards. We realized, even though we're red on the index and we're still red here above the average, we got some green coming in and a bunch of green volume. So we would exit on the second candle or the first candle. You can see that our exit position is here and our entry position is up here. This right here is a two or 300% gain. These are less volatile as they're slower, but this was definitely a good trade and it was a great entry. I just showed you guys an awesome trade, how you can reduce your risk and improve your profits. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, so this way you guys know when I go live. Leave a comment, what do you guys think of this strategy? And come and hang out with me on the live streams on TikTok and Facebook Gaming and once in a while on Twitch. And be sure to check out the gaming store to support this channel and all the efforts I put into it at acrylics.com. Acrylics with a one right there on the screen. Acrylics, the one and only dot com. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate you being here. Take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the next upload or live stream. You guys are still here? I know you guys are loving these videos on how to trade stocks and how to make money and improve your investments but you guys got to move on to the next video it's time to let go of this one and i picked the perfect one just for you it's right there on the screen don't be shy go ahead and click it right now it's an awesome video you guys are going to love that video it's just as good as this one click the video it's right there on the screen come on you know you want to